Hello, welcome to the Homestead Building Project Series. I am checking another thing off my list of things to do this year, and that is painting the house. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I have a building project going on. Well, it's an upgrading project because I promised myself this year I would not be building anything this year. I'm focusing all my energy on repairing and upgrading and finishing the projects that I wanted to, I needed to complete. Uh, the house is one major project that I'm going to be finishing. I did the back fence, that's checked off my list. Got the floor in the greenhouse, got the shelving in the greenhouse, painting the inside and the outside of the greenhouse. That was a huge check uh, off my list. Still have yet to finish the back side of the garden, but I did get the garden fencing painted. But now, uh, I, since I have the paint, we're going to be focusing on the house. As for the paint that I'm using, I got this uh, two five-gallon buckets of paint at a deep discount. At, uh, it's a store that's located near us called Builder's Bargain Warehouse, and they take factory rejects, factory seconds, and sell them to the public at a deep discount. This paint was, I think, was, I got it for... 35 to 45 dollars a bucket i don't remember because i bought i purchased it last year and i've already used a whole five gallon bucket on uh well i got the front of the house painted i got the two sides of the house painted you see me painted when i took down the carport and redid that and repaired that and i also painted this uh shed that i got free from an estate cleanup I wanted to retrofit the shade, uh, shed and make it fit into the uh, homestead to make it look aesthetically nice and pleasing to the eye. And I achieved that. We just painted it. And so that is it. Uh, the paint's already mixed, so we can't get it custom blended for our, what we want. You just go in there and buy the buckets of the colors that they offer. I got light brown, which matched closely with the color of the house already. And then for the green trim paint i chose the color dark hunter green is what i purchased and i got that from walmart i got four gallons of this because i needed enough to of course the paint the greenhouse and all the trim on the outbuildings plus all the trim on the house and it's working out beautifully i still have trim to paint back here i haven't even touched the back of the house yet uh, and that's today's project, but the sides and the front I already did. Let me talk a little bit about the tools that I've got. Of course, with painting, you're going to need some tools. Uh, actually, a lot of these tools I've got, I got for free. Uh, this heavy-duty drill I got free from an estate cleanup. Uh, that shed I painted, I got free from an estate cleanup. Yep, the whole entire shed I got free. Uh, this paddle mixer thing that goes into a paint bucket, yep, from an estate cleanup. Uh, I got this uh, uh, ladder, this big tall ladder that expands, uh, or telescopes. I got that from an estate cleanup. This little ladder somebody just gave me. I did not get that from, uh, from an estate cleanup. It was gifted to me by a friend who just didn't need it anymore and this telescoping pole that you put a paint roller on to get high places where you can keep your feet on terra firma got that from an estate cleanup now i power washed the, the house pressure wash but the pressure washer i got free but not from an estate cleanup it was a birthday gift from my son 
uh, earlier this year. I was really happy to get it because my other one broke down. Uh, anyway, it's come. It, it's a higher quality than the previous one I got, and that 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 one's a Husqvarna. Anyway, I just have to pressure wash the back of the house with this, and I'm also going to be pressure washing the deck and disassembling the deck floor, the deck boards. We're going to be taking off. I've got plywood decking. I'm going to be uh, affixing to that and getting it all painted. And uh, I'll do it in stages, but today I'm just going to paint the house surface. But I'm remov removing the deck rails and uh, we'll paint those later because I need to pressure wash everything. Um, and then I'm going to be doing something else. The awning's staying, but I'm going to be doing something else with that. Stay tuned to that video. That'll be a homestead improvement upgrade project, a homestead building project. So uh, stay tuned for that one. Now also when I'm painting, I'm removing uh, the gutters, uh, downspouts, and or not the gutters, I'm removing the downspouts uh, and getting those painted and painting beneath them because that's the right thing to do. I also am removing the porch light fixtures so I can paint around that instead of painting the fixtures itself. I'm just taking the extra time and effort to make it look neat. Eventually I'm going to be purchasing new porch lights and adding them. And also we're building a new front porch. Stay tuned to that video because that will be fabricated from all the deck boards that I'm removing from my deck surface. I will also have enough paint to paint this little uh, tool shed. Uh, so everything will match back here. The free shed uh, that I got from estate cleanup. This shed, which I actually got from an estate cleanup. I even got the door that went to it. I got it from a friend who gave it to me. Uh, this door I bought from Craigslist and painted it, put it up there to use as a gate to keep deer out of my yard. And then we got enough paint for the house. We got enough paint. I'm ha I'll have some paint left over. We'll store it safely so I could touch up here and there as the years go by. So it's been about 10 years since I originally painted the house when we moved it over here. Just trying to protect my investments, my assets, and getting a coat of paint on the structures and keeping them looking nice. And what's nice also is that the paint is recycled and I'm into recycling, upcycling, repurposing. Now my outbuildings are all made out of most, for the most part, recycled, repurposed, upcycled material and uh, factory seconds which would otherwise go to waste. Uh, so I just put paint on those uh, and I like to say it's like putting lipstick on a pig because you should see what these look like before I even got a coat of paint on them. They look terrible. Uh, so and anyway, the farm is coming together and we're making everything, uh, giving it a new coat for longevity. So as you can see behind me, the front's all finished. I got all of my little artifacts put back on the house. Uh, we're going to be building the new front porch uh, from the decking boards. I'm re uh, pulling off the back deck and this will have a ceiling. I already had the county inspector come out and I talked to him about it. And something like this I do not need a permit for, uh, per his words. So we're just going to go ahead and keep it within code and uh, keep it within compliance but it'll be safe we'll be able to get in and out of the house safely and the snow load will come down and slough off over the roof and out front instead of in front of the porch anyway all these artifacts i got uh i got from uh well my treasure hunting series i just happened to go two different times and find those little plaques at the thrift store uh, two different times, but they were matching. So I felt they would be good sitting out here during the uh, non-volatile months, like winter, fall. I'll put them away later. But doesn't this look nicer? I mean, it's a good paint job. I like it. Well, I'm Jerry, your host here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Please stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Give us a thumbs up, click that share button, sharing my videos on your social media platforms it helps us out. Remember, be safe, always be kind. We'll see you guys in our next adventure. Bye-bye now.